Hey, what's up everybody? It's Rox and I'm coming to you today with a really quick video. Um, I know I have been MIA since last, since loving hip hop, I guess. Um, I had some stuff going on last week that um, many of you guys, who, whoever's not my Twitter follower and my Facebook follower, then you guys don't know, which is the majority of you guys. <laughs> Y'all don't follow me, but go follow me. I did post on both Twitter and Facebook that I had a death in my family. Um, my sister-in-law passed from thyroid cancer. Very sad. Um, she was very young. And um, that kind of threw all of the rest of the week off last week. She and I were not that close. She lived in a different state. However, it just didn't feel right me doing videos, you know, when so much of my family was hurt and obviously very distraught and upset and everything. It just didn't feel right for me to be joking around on video, you know, just out of respect. So this week I'm going to be back on it, um, mostly because by Thursday again this week I'm going to be heading up to Virginia um, to her funeral. So I'm going to be doing a this video right now. I'm going to do um, Braxton Family Values after I finish this video and then I'm going to do um, of course Love and Hip Hop tomorrow. I might try to do a Top of the Blogs on Wednesday. Just kind of depends on how that day goes but don't hold me to it. I am going to do Braxton Family Values the second episode um, <clears throat> that comes on this coming Thursday. I'll probably have that up on Sunday and then of course after that um, I should be back on track with having those up by the following Friday, you know, after the show comes on. But just for a couple of weeks, you guys just bear with me. Thanks to all of you guys who sent condolences to me and my family. They were very much appreciated. And you guys always say such really nice and wonderful things to me. So thank you. Y'all checking out the black? <laughs> I am so glad that I got my black hair back. You guys have no idea. I had planned on doing a whole big celebratory video on Thursday because I actually got it done Thursday the same day that we found out the bad news. So then I didn't get to do my video but y'all have no idea how excited I am to have my black hair back. Um, I'm not going to get all into the particulars but you, this is some Brazilian wavy hair. I have on a closure. Um, it's such a long story with that closure piece. I have to tell you guys about it but it was a center part. I didn't feel like I could pull it off. So I put it on the side. Of course, yeah, I mean, you know, people know it's a closure. I don't really care about that. I just really still need it for it to be kind of believable. So you guys can't really see here. But um, if you guys want me to do a video about my hair, I will. Just let me know. Um, just let me know what y'all want me to do. But yeah, got the black back. What? 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 Y'all don't know how excited I am about my black. Oh my god you guys don't know I was so sick of that blonde hair and I had that blonde hair for 14 weeks okay 14 weeks is a long time to have a weave especially when you hated it after the third week every time it was time to get my hair done it something else came up so of course I had to put it on the back burner but now that I got it in I'm real I'm real excited about that since I didn't do my top of the blogs video last week um, one of the things that one of the subjects that everybody wanted me to speak on was the whole Chad and Evelyn situation and really I wasn't gonna really do a video on it because first of all it has been asked and answered so many times now I mean everybody has done a video on it everybody has given their opinion on it and um, I just kind of was feeling like you know I don't really like to really talk about certain situations and for those of you guys who've been watching me for a long time you guys know me you probably know how I'm gonna what I'm gonna say in this video for those of you guys who are new to my channel um, what I might say might not be exactly what you guys wanted to hear I don't need to go into the particulars of what happened you guys have all known by now exactly what happened he head butted her split her forehead open you know, and they lost everything. Correction, Chad lost everything. Uh, Evelyn still has her Basketball Wives show, but they lost their show together. He lost his endorsements. He lost his job with the NFL. Um, he's pretty much assed out. To make a long story short, you guys, I wanted to see their relationship work. You know, when it first started and they first started dating each other, of course, I didn't believe it. Nobody believed it. And uh, I don't even know if they believed it, but somewhere along the line, I think they really did fall in love with, with each other and have feelings for each other. I mean, nobody is really going to carry it on that long. As time went on and their relationship started to grow and we were able to see a little bit more of their interaction together, I, I will admit that I wanted them to, to succeed. I wanted to 
see them make it work because I just kind of have this thing about me where I like to see underdogs win and uh, clearly they were the underdogs people were not uh, people were betting that it wasn't gonna work you know people were kind of hoping that it wouldn't work which always like you know just confuses me like why are you guys putting this much stock into somebody else's relationship why would you want to see a relationship not work um, even with whatever issues that they had I mean that's their thing I mean I don't really understand why everybody is so vested in their relationship but you know they're celebrities and I realize that people really do put a lot into what they see on the television even though I have to tell you guys that most of the things you see on those reality TV shows are not real it's not real life um, it only happens that's only a small percentage of what happens in their lives and then of course you know it's amped up for drama they might not be um, the best for each other um, they might be the kind of people that bring out the worst in each other um, you know sort of like Chris Brown or Rihanna situation a lot of times you get um, volatile people together you put them together and um, they react off of each other Chad's situation is a little different from Evelyn's you know Chad hasn't been known to be violent we've never really heard anything bad about him in the news in that sense but you know he is definitely uh, an attention whore clearly loves the women and um, he's an athlete and he had his reality show where he dated all these women and you know it was just kind of the persona that he already had as that he was like this man with a whole bunch of women um, then you put that together with Evelyn who we all know has an anger management issue you know she has violent streaks in her she has a tendency to just kind of fly out the handle immediately you know she can't keep her hands to herself um, she has all these things on her end so when you put these two type of people together then what you get is what you got eventually something happens where um, one is pushed to their limits and the other one ends up acting out Chad Buster in the head okay I think that um, in this situation Chad was all the way wrong um, no matter what Evelyn is um, and no matter what she's done um, nobody really deserves to get put get hit in the head okay now we weren't in the car with them we really obviously don't know what happened um, other than the general you know other than the generalities of what happened in the argument and the reason why they were arguing I don't think that you should ever hit a woman um, even in and I don't think that a woman should hit a man I mean I just really think that people should know how to keep their hands to themselves but that's why I'm saying that maybe these two are not um, the best for each other because maybe if she would have been with somebody who was a little bit more even kill or vice versa um, who could even out their relationship then maybe they wouldn't be in this situation one would know how to walk away when the other one pushes them my mom told me a long time ago not to hit somebody unless you want to get hit back okay so um, like I said I don't really know what happened in the car with them but I will say that you cannot um, you know you can't push a man or anybody really to their limit and expect not anything to happen so you know when you get into an argument like when I get into an argument I know how to stay the fuck out the way okay um, I've never been in a relationship where anybody has hit me or even if I ever felt threatened enough that I felt like they were gonna hit me but even when I get into an argument regularly I don't be all up in somebody's face ain't gonna be no pointing and spitting and yelling and doing all of this because you know people have their limits okay so you it just some everybody has a limit and I don't never want to be on the receiving end of a limit and what ends up happening is when a man and a woman gets into a fight most of the time men are much stronger than women and most of the time women are gonna lose but who lost the most well obviously Chad lost the most I mean he lost like I said he lost his career okay and um, he's he's no longer married um, he lost endorsements, which is like a lot of money-making opportunities. Um, his 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 whole persona has been smeared um, over something like this, and I and I and I can't figure out a way how to excuse him. I just cannot figure out a way how to excuse him because with everything that has happened, he's known who Evelyn was. We all saw that. Um, I'm not saying that Evelyn is just this horrible person. You guys, please don't be in my comments and going all off. I respect everybody's opinions and everything, but, um, you know, I just, I, I, I'm not like that kind of, I told you so. I, you know, people, karma is like the big word right now. And um, like I said, you know, we none of us were in the car, so nobody knows what they were talking about. I mean, we did see her say on her show that she 
was fine with him cheating as long as he told her and it maybe so it might be it sounds like it could be a little bit more to that to the argument that we don't even know about you know I don't think that I just can't really excuse Chad's behavior even if she pushed him to that limit um, at some point you need to know how to you know know when to fold them okay just just let it go so that is my opinion on it I feel sorry for them both um, I still would like to see maybe them be able to work something out but you know like I said maybe these two are not really good for each other and maybe this is just something that needed to happen early in the relationship early in the marriage so we don't get all this extra you know babies and all kind of other stuff also you guys I went to go see sparkle on Saturday and sparkle was good okay I felt like it was a pretty good movie I didn't feel like it was as good as the first one but you know remakes aren't usually as good as the first one but I think that they did a good enough job I didn't feel like I wasted my 550 yes I did say 550 y'all better get up on them twilight prices over at Camp Creek over by my house um, if you go to the movies between four and six 550 it was cool you guys Jordan Sparks I feel like she played a good innocent enough sparkle she will never be sexy to me J Jordan Sparks is just the cutest little baby doll girl I just think that she's really really cute and you know even in the end oh almost gave away a little part of the movie the girl who plays sister I don't really remember what her name is in real life somebody out there tell me who she is she did really well um, now she definitely plays sexy well she of course is not like the most powerhouse singer but you know she did enough she did enough that to, to be convincing in the role but the breakout character I thought in the whole movie was Mike Epps I think Michael Epps is really just getting better and better at acting you know I think I thought he did really well in jumping the broom and then we get to this movie and I really feel like that he's starting to get um, he's starting to get roles where it concentrates still on his comedy you know he's still able to kind of have that comment comedian edge to it but then it also shows some of his acting chops and he's obviously starting to be able to grasp like bigger roles um, and you know so we can see so if anybody I thought was the breakout actor in the movie was Michael Epps even with um, Derek Luke being the most seasoned actor I believe in the whole movie um, and Derek Luke did it good but he wasn't I feel like his his character was not really super principal but he will of course got top billing because he's like I said one of the bigger actors and then of course you guys with me I just I'm telling y'all be so sad when Nippy get on the screen it tugged at my heart like the whole movie because it, it's just a waste it's just a waste that she's gone um, and that she didn't get to even enjoy the success of this movie when she did her singing she she does have a scene in the in the movie when she sings and uh, you guys I did have a little tear and and I was just like oh nippy I just miss you nippy Whitney did well you know Whitney was Whitney you know she she talked real fast and she talked real soft I mean I was like the whole movie I was like what she say <laughs> she has like the softest quietest um, voice I mean she's just yeah, I mean, you know, it's just never going to be anybody like Whitney. It's just very sad that she's not here anymore. Now, everybody's looking forward to be like this big tour de force like Dreamgirls was. And I can tell you right now that it's not. If you're going to see a movie and you think that you're about to get another Dreamgirls caliber movie, you're not fixing to get that. Um, because it's just not that. It's not that strong a storyline. It's not that, you know, strong of actors in it. Um, it's not that strong of singers in it. It's just not any of that. But it's still good, okay? Um, I feel like they could have made it, um, a little, you know, they could have dug a little deeper and got a little grimier and grittier with the whole movie. But, you know, they didn't, and it was fine. Like I said, I, I still enjoyed the movie, and I thought that it was good, but you won't be getting no Oscar nominations from this movie or anything like that, um, at least not for the acting. And I don't even know if for the singing, um, but like I said, it was good. I don't want to make it sound like I'm talking about it, because I'm not. It was definitely something that was entertaining. Um, I laughed. I had my moments of crying. Um, you know, I was angry at some parts, you know, so it did what it was supposed to do. So, yeah, I would tell you guys to go see it. You guys should go see it. I thought it was it was worth going to go see. And you guys, that's it. Braxton Family Values video will be up later on today, so you guys look out for that, okay? You guys make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'm It's Rocks. My channel is For It's Rocks. Everything else I do will be in the bottom bar below, okay? All right. So I hope that you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day, and I plan on doing the same. Until next time, Rockstars. Bye.